Alright guys, um, I know it's been a while since I've done a vlog, blog, whatever you want to call this video, but uh, I'm sitting in the back seat of the tracker and yeah, it's, it's got some room in it back here. I mean, it's it's not like a limo, but you got some room. Um, doing some modifications. Um, I don't know if I've ever showed this before, but... It's got a 7-inch touchscreen in it with a backup camera. And I've been doing some different things with it. Getting it all ready for wintertime use. Um, the most recently thing I've done is this. This light. Which, as you can see, is bright. That is for a boat. It's in the boating department of Walmart. And it is hooked up to the original switch so that it will function like it should. And uh, the video is very grainy for some reason. I don't know why. I guess it's all the lighting or something. But there's the sunset. And this thing has back windows are tinted. That one's dirty. That one's a little cleaner. Not too bad. Spare tire. Um... What I keep in this truck is a little different than what I had in the car. Um, the Lincoln left last night. It had a blown head gasket or a cracked head and it's gone. It's no longer with us. Which, uh, it was in a few videos. and But uh, this thing gets uh, like 20 miles a gallon. The Lincoln got like 14. So, yeah. What I keep back here is... Since my father has passed away, he left me a bunch of tools. You know, door last, but I mean, people hit on AutoZone, but you know what? These are guaranteed for life, no questions asked. And I like them. Not because I got them for nothing, but I like them because they're good tools. And my dad knew what he was doing when he bought them. I keep that in here. I keep a jump pack in here from Harbor Freight, which. I don't know, I jump started the generator and then after I jump started the generator with it, it never would charge again. Nothing would work on it. Turn the light on for y'all. But uh Um, yeah. Uh, as you see a moment ago, I've got the rivets which I use. Bought those at Harbor Freight, and I got a rivet gun. Harbor Freight. You know, just because there's a lot of stuff on this. All this trim stuff, this aluminum trim, it's all got to be riveted on because screws will just vibrate loose. But, uh, yeah. Um, that inverter right there is not plugged into nothing. It's just sitting there in case we need it for something. But here's what I keep in the truck. That toolbox you seen back there. Uh, gas line, pinch off line, pliers. OEM tools, AutoZone, a um, little stubby Phillips flat, stubby Phillips, regular Phillips, there's a regular flat, it's just in the house for now, um, this has nothing to do with it, it's just in there, um, this spark plug socket is in here just in case, ow, I don't know what I just stabbed myself with, but I'm sure we'll see it. Um, a Stanley Control Grip Thin Profile Wrench, as you see it grounded, so that I could work on a bicycle. Yes, I bicycle, even though I'm 330-something pounds. I still bicycle. Some relays, if you've seen were Ford, they came out of the car. And then we get into the good stuff, which I guess I'm going to put in this bag. Fuse holder, fuse puller, and fuses. Get this out of here. A light that is not got no battery in it. It's missing one. Probably in here somewhere. Um, what else we got in here? Is a smaller version. Um, I believe I have it a medium one, but this one and the big ones, the two I have found the most use out of. Um, the tire stuff, the tires, I don't know what just fell over here. But it's okay. Looks like a relay. And then we got plugs. 
I mean, a lot of you people out there are going to say, oh, well, tire plugs don't work. Yeah, yes, they do. Um, I've got a tire plug in my 88 Ranger that I put in the tire when it was on the 92 Ranger, which is also gone, by the way. And uh, I still have an air to this day. That's been four years ago. So, yeah, a tire plug will work. And it's in a truck tire. I mean, come on. Um, some cores just in a plastic thing. And then the reamer for the tire plug. This is a very cheap dollar store one. But I like it because you can really grip it and, you know, work it like you're supposed to. Random assortment wire. And swivel sockets. Metric swivel sockets. Because this is a Suzuki. Even though it says Chevrolet, that engine's a Suzuki. <clears throat> then the, uh, I don't know what they call this. The It's for the plugs. You thread the plug through this hole. You can look it up on YouTube here. And uh, I like these because, like I said, once you put it in, you got something to push on and then you got pull. Because what you normally have to use is a... It's not in here. I don't know where it is. Somewhere. It looks like a screwdriver. And except having a T-handle like this, it's just... It's basically like this. And as you see, that's not a lot of pressure because you got to really push in plugs in that hole. And uh, this is... I'm not showing you. Oh, y'all can't see it anyways. This is my tire tool because I have to have that now and it doesn't stay in here I keep it in a special location and there's other sockets that fall off there's the battery to the side there it's it but uh yeah I don't have to repack this whole thing which I need to go through it anyway because it's dirty in there but uh yeah, this is with the seat all the way forward. This is with the seat all the way back. Reclined slightly. And, uh... Yeah, these are the, uh, six benigns out of the Lincoln. Um, up front it's got little four-inch speakers, which is not much, but... You know, <laughs> you're kind of limited on your space. But, uh, I've got a police scanner under the seat in here. So there is the speaker for it, which is above my head, and conveniently, when you're driving down the road, because this thing has open exhaust, because it does, you can take the speaker off, put it back up so you can hear it. Um, I know in one video I said that these were bad. These are not what's bad. It's the other end of the seat belt down there that goes through the into the body. Well... There's a trick you can do to make that not happen, and I've done it. But anyway, um, like I said, that's that's just a boat light out of a out of a uh, out of a uh, for a boat. I don't know what they use them for. But anyways, um, guess I'll uh, let it go on that. Um, what else do I have back here that I can show y'all? Well, I get a test light. Um, got oil back there. Ooh, yeah, a bigger inverter. Unlike that one. That one's only like 200 watts. I don't even think it's that. I think it's like 120. This is a 400. Eh, eh, it does the job. It's got a 30 amp fuse in it. I think that's supposed to have like a 40 or something. It didn't have a very big one in it. And it just lives in the back back here. There's quite a bit of space back here. I mean, yeah, there's enough back there for that stuff. But uh, anyway, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe because of this little jug of antifreeze that I keep back here too. Just in case. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And have a good one.